Although Thursday's Bridge to Unity was a celebration of sorts, its mission was to promote a peaceful dialogue between cultures in an attempt to limit future discrimination. It was organized by the St. Thomas University Interfaith Group. The head of the group is campus minister Janice Ryan. Bridge to Unity was organized before the recent controversy of the anti-Islamic film Innocence of Muslims. However, Ryan said this provided an added relevance to the event. It is a cultural problem, but we have an opportunity in our the richness of the diversity in our country, Canada, and in the United States to make a difference, to say we can come to know the other as being really uh, of, 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 of the same substance as us, of the same essence as us. Rabbi Goldman said the service should not be taken as a reaction to these intolerant actions. You know, in my worst dreams is when I have to react to something. And because I try, like I said, to be proactive and to be uh, considerate and peaceful. And, and that's the message I carry all the time. The ceremony started downtown when First Nations member Michael Paul conducted a ritual he calls smudging. The act is said to purify the heart and mind. Many faiths were represented from the Baha'i to the Muslims and Buddhists. Christians and Quakers were also in attendance. Members of all cultures addressed the crowd in different ways. There was a moment of silence, poems, and various speeches. The organizers estimated there were 120 people present. Not all attendees were involved with the interfaith group. Carol Bellefleur is a practicing Catholic that heard about the event at Mass. I've always wanted that to see a lot of faiths come together because you know what, we're all one, eh? That's what the bottom line is. We are all one. The activity everyone came for took place on the walking bridge. The group tried to stretch out and span the entire bridge. As the lit candle traveled down the human chain, each individual gave a salutation of peace in accordance with their beliefs. Afterwards, the crowd formed a circle around the candle as the final speech was given. The occasion ended with everyone embracing those around them. Janice Ryan hopes this event will bring more people into the interfaith group. For the New Brunswick Beacon, I'm Robert Johnson.